<laughs> oh. Oh my god. Ah, oh, this is no good. Wow. Hello and welcome back to another video and of course we're diving into a bit more of the Elden Ring original soundtrack uh, of Shadow of the Earth Tree of the uh, latest uh, DLC. Uh, I'm sure we're all aware of it at this point but um, today we're going to be looking at a track called Mesmer the Impaler um, and I think this is going to be quite a cool one because I've been so so impressed with the uh, soundtrack so far um, to this point so I think we'll get into it uh, pretty much straight away. Uh, so, yes, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the initial reaction. We'll stop at Star and we'll analyze as we go. So, let's react to Mesmer the Impaler from Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree in 3, 2, 1. Go. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna stop there before that starts. Okay, so um, right. What I want to speak about is how good Elden Ring are, or well, the, the well, in the game as well, but how good uh, in the music they are to just building up to earning the moment to shock you, or to kind of bring you in, I suppose. So let's listen. So again, we have this very choral kind of monk-like sounding uh, choir that sits quite far back in the mix. Um, so it's, you, it kind of feels like distant. But then with this kind of cello in front, giving this low harm, just kind of this very dramatic kind of hum, as we have the, then the strings coming in, very sh like tightly played as well, you know, very kind of like sharp, not just in tone, but sharply played. And then that like big hit and then the kind of the form of sound that came afterwards from the cellos, kind of build it at special inspiration. And then that rest in straight into it, into it. It's just amazing. The horns, they're still holding on to that original note. You could, um, they're still holding on, but you've still got now all the movement of the percussion underneath. It's amazing. <laughs> Violins now kind of flittering on top of it. Higher vocals now added to the mix. Oh. So this is all really, really lovely. I want to go back just a tiny bit. Um, just to have that kind of, the, the cello kind of take the forefront of the melody. It gives it that somberness and that kind of sadness to it, which you wouldn't, which you know you can't get from the violin, but it doesn't give you that kind of deepness to it, that darkness that you would get from a cello. Um, as you still have that fleeting, like, bounciness from the strings underneath. Uh, let's see. And also, it gives you that kind of sense of drama and almost a sense of dread that you can get from a, from a cello. And it's still got that really, really deep kind of resonant percussion underneath it as well. That just gives it that, that, that war drum kind of feel.
Sheesh. Right, let's go back a little bit and listen to a bit more of what we just heard. So that kind of... When the vocals just come in, but you've still got that real... The, the vocals still sit quite, like, far back in the mix. And the, the deeper, darker instruments definitely take the forefront. Let's let's listen. So we've got so much going on. So we've got the choral, uh, the choral, choral vocals, the choir. Um, you've still got the 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 strings kind of moving, kind of fleeting and quick uh, underneath. You've kind of got these ripples and runs of the of the of the percussion as well. That held on um, brass section too. I love this run here as well with the strings as it goes into kind of a bit of a lower tone of notes but it's still just running kind of it's like there's ch a chase or something what every single track that we've listened to and this one does it as well has done well so far is given you that kind of sense of impending doom um I assume that these kind of songs are all essentially to do with a a boss um, of some sort that you fight. Uh, it does give you that sense of dread, like you, you're you fighting something incredibly strong. Um, Godlike power, you know, that kind of thing. And to kind of have that, I really enjoy um, the mix of having that really high kind of angelic chorus vocals in there with these really low powerful instruments because it almost feels like these kind of forces are or these angels or something are singing but they're not they're singing against their will almost they're they're with this kind of beast that you're fighting Mes mesmer the impaler they're with them but they don't want to be that's the kind of kind of disconcerting feel that i get from this and it's it's very very cool very cool indeed Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, oh, this is no good. Wow. Wow, all right, all right. So let's stop. Sorry, let's stop. So I want to go back and just play a bit. So hold on. Where did it stop? So you kind of get this pause here, and it kind of feels like this is a point where, like, I don't know this for certain. This is the kind of point where it feels like you defeat them, but then they start to get up, and you've thought you've won, but they're not finished yet. It feels like um, the movement into like another phase of the fight. But you've got this kind of they're now deeper um, choir, and this just cello just constantly kind of just pulling itself across. It's just so dark and eerie. And then straight into that bang. Eldering, this song has done it already, and or they all do that, that kind of kind of build rest, bang, straight in, it, like in your face kind of um, move. And I um, mean, a lot of the gameplay's like that, isn't it? And this feels like I'm not dead, I'm not done yet, I'm stronger than ever. And it's kind of kind of elevated a little bit now. We've got a lot, it's fast, it's very, very fast, it's very, very fluid now. A 
That beautiful melody line. This is just like this impending sort of like wall of sound at this point. It's just that the now it's really elevated with the the like the horn section now. It feels really really bold and powerful. <laughs> it's like it doesn't let up as well. The sound it kind of feels like you're kind of getting swallowed up a little bit now. It's like it's just relentless, relentless. start to hear a little bit of higher sort of strings coming in at the top now kind of again kind of bouncing around a little bit more very very fast though a fast played so it kind of feels like we're we're getting we're building to something Okay, that was a really, really nice ending as well. Um, I, I did. They just keep, keep doing it, man. Like it just keeps being so, so impressive. Uh, let's let's go back over that. So again, kind of, I said it was building to something, and then it kind of out of the it was almost out of the smoke or the fire or something we kind of had this beam of light and that's where these sopranos come in um i just kind of open this bright sound right in our faces but we've still got the horns we've still got the the dark eerie instruments the cellos it's still very much dramatic it's still very, it's not like we've been rescued it's like this is still the height of drama And you've got a nice mix because you could hear in the back of the mix, you've still got the, the strings going very, very fast, but you've got the kind of pulsing. Dun, bam, bam, bam. It's like this kind of just absolute behemoth moving towards you, this huge steps, lugging movement. It's, it feels huge. I've got this kind of ripple on, really kind of like. And you hear that with the with the the the, um, the bra section as well. That bam, 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 bam. It's like it's so like it's really just trying to be as big as possible. I like how it comes out of the it comes out with a little bit of just kind of life left. It doesn't just end or fade out. It's got that little bit of violin afterwards. That little bit just like something kind of escaped. Something's still sort of there. I really like that a lot. That was an amazing track. Another, another very, very cool track from Elden Ring. No one is surprised at this point. 
Uh, let me know what you thought of Mesbun Lee Impaler uh, in the comment section below. Uh, did you enjoy this song? Uh, how does it compare to the other songs? Let me know. Um, if you uh, do you want to hear any more from the Elden Ring soundtrack, we've done quite a few now. So uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and we absolutely can. Uh, if you got all the way to the end, thank you, especially, um, very much for getting all the way to here. But if you haven't subscribed or liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you can do as well. Helps me out a lot. But having said all of that, thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.